there. Hi, friend. I'm Ning. And this is Ning's Tings. I'm so excited you're here because we're going to be talking about my most favorite sound, voices. This show is for the love of voice and how every single person's voice and story is completely their own, unique and rare. I've loved the sound of voices ever since I was five years old. I was so teeny tiny and I have clear memories of hearing beautiful voices, songs and stories that would make me cry, make me laugh, and make me dance. I'd be mesmerized, hypnotized, watching singers and cartoon characters on TV, and all because of their amazing voices. Lots of times, I'd cry or feel chills running through my body when a voice connected to something inside. I was so young, but I knew that this had to be what love felt like, right? But as much as I loved voices, as a little kid, I was already terrified of my own voice. I was so scared to sing for people, scared to speak out and tell stories. I thought, as I became an adult, that this fear would go away. Uh -uh. But it didn't. It It really, really didn't. And in future episodes here... I'll get into more details of my lifelong struggle with stage fright. And if you share any of these feelings, I'll have tips to help you. For now, I think it's just important for you to know that I deeply, deeply understand how scary it is to use your voice in the world. Like hella scary to speak publicly, to sing on a stage, to let yourself be really heard. For me, it always felt like if I did that, It would be like standing completely naked in front of an audience. Oof, so scary, right? And so I know right now this sounds crazy. That with all I just said about my deep fear of my voice and singing, that here I am, I'm hosting a podcast. And you're probably thinking, well, you sound fine now, but it hasn't always been this way. And it's also bananas, bananas, (laughs) that today... I'm a voice actor, a speaking coach, and a singer-songwriter because I dreamt so deeply about becoming these things, and I never thought I'd actually be able to get here, to live out this part of my life dreams, but it took so much work to get here. And here's the real truth, the nitty-gritty, spill-in-the-tea truth, is that getting here, getting to this point of sitting in front of this microphone and speaking to you has been a huge struggle, is still a daily struggle. Super struggle. Like, I hella am on Struggle Street all the time. And it's been a long journey to overcoming my fear, my self-doubt, hella insecurities, and ooh, everyone's favorite tita, imposter syndrome. Like, I deal with these feelings all the time. So how do I really explain that the thing I so deeply love is also the thing I've absolutely feared the most. But somehow, I feel you might understand. I feel that you listening out there feel me, no? Because it's about creative dreams that stir our soul, that we all have creative dreams that terrify us. For you, is it singing on a stage, writing a book or a play, or making a movie? Or maybe that creative dream is becoming a painter, creating a product from scratch, or starting that business you've always wanted to. That it's actually the very thing we love that triggers the deepest fear. I think this love and this fear connects us all. I think it's why we love art and creative endeavors so very much. Why we admire those who take the risk wear their hearts on their sleeves, and go for it. Why art in the form of songs, films, books, paintings, moves us and shakes us to our core. And I deeply, deeply feel that our voice and story, that's so very personal and powerful, is at the heart of all this art. And our voice and story is what sets us free. So what will you find in Ningstings episodes? 
Sometimes I'll be sharing tips to help you on your journey to find and claim your unique voice and story. I hope they help you overcome fears you may have about your voice. Other times I might be singing, sharing a story or a silly character that I find fun or meaningful because I'm all about the silly and playtime. My friends know that I'm really a puppy in a dog park, always looking for other puppies. And sometimes I'll be amplifying the stories of people in our world whose voice I think needs to be heard and celebrated. Today, deep in my soul, I know this to be true. That for all the people I've worked with and all the work I've put into this love and passion, every single one of us has a unique, beautiful, and special voice and story to share. And that when we work hard at becoming confident and overcome self-doubt, our voices bring love and light to our world, that our voices can truly change the world. Come join me on this journey. We're about to have some fun. Until next time, Ning's Tings, for the love of voice, wanting you to use your voice for love. listening.